we saved the deposits of 4.6 million bank depositors who, who really um, were going to lose their deposits if those banks were not, were not saved. I don't understand whether the former president has taken his time to actually understand what happened in the banking sector. Some atrocious things happened. And this is why these banks had to be saved. They were not collapsed, they were merged into other banks. And we no banking depositor lost one city. Everybody maintained. But you had um, very bad things happening. You know, some of the banks broke all the rules and extended loans way above the single obligo limits. They were given, in some cases, one billion CDs by the Bank of Ghana to help them get out of the mess. And they only got deeper into the mess. Another bank was giving capital to save the situation, was giving money from the Bank of Ghana's lender of last resort facility. And they used that money to go and set up capital bank instead of rescuing the problem that they had. They, went, they took the money from the central bank and went to set up another bank, which was also collapsing. Some took money and went and invested in private property. So, so it was against this background when the, the governor came to report, and this was one of the, the, my nightmares as in the last eight years. I couldn't sleep that night, that the banking system, our, most people didn't understand how close we were to a collapse of the entire banking system, but we were this close because all it would have taken was for a few depositors to go to UT Bank or UMT and they'll tell you there's no money. What would happen? There would have been a complete run on the banking system in Ghana. We would have lost, we would have collapsed the banking system. When the governor came to report that we were on the verge of collapse, decisions had to be taken to save the banking system and to save depositors. And this is how come we had to merge many of these banks into other banks. To save. And we saved 4.6 million depositors. I will ask the former president, if he hasn't read, to go and read the receiver's report or to go and read the Bank of Ghana report and acquaint himself <laughs> before making any further comments on matters he clearly does not understand. He needs to get an understanding before you make comments. And you cannot hand over a bank's license to them. This is subject to legal procedure. <laughs> you have to go to court. You, you don't have the power in our constitution to do that. And I, I'm surprised sometimes because he has been president before and he should know these things. He should know these things. <laughs> he should know these things.